Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy PLI, aka the Brick Slinger, and I'm just gonna speak on something interesting. As you know, this is the week of Easter, and uh, Good Friday is just around the corner. And I don't know a lot of people are still debating on whether or not Jesus literally died and rose in within three days. Some folks have their comprehension of mathematics all, all different than everybody else, especially mine. Because uh, a lot of people want to believe that if Jesus died on a Friday, then he probably wouldn't rose on a Sunday. Because to some folks, it's just two days, a two day difference. You know what I'm saying? So they'll be counting like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You know what I'm saying? So if he rose on the third day, then he popped up on Monday. Then they would some will say, well, if he would have rose on a Sunday, then he would wouldn't die in no Friday. So let's do the math. Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Thursday. So he would have been crucified and died on a Thursday. But here's the thing people most of these cats that that's just sticking to this particular case the way that they do they still th they thinking 24 hours straight and consecutives not biblically or somewhat common sense because you was some will say to themselves well either he either he died on a Thursday or he rose on a Monday because it wouldn't make sense but at the same time biblically speaking the Passover was probably around the time of the Sabbath which would definitely be on a Friday to or towards Friday and then he would have been rose on the third Sunday because biblically speaking he rose on the first day of the week, which will be a Sunday. So, truth be told, he died on a Friday. And this may shock a lot of people that somebody like me believe that he died and he rose within a three-day period. But here's the thing. You don't think of it as... One day, 24 hours later, 24 hours later, 24 hours later. You got to think of it from a perspective of, let's put it like this. When you go out of town, so to speak, whether it's a paid vacation or you want to sweep states and this, that, and the third. Let's put it like this. And you go for four days and three nights. The day you arrive at the particular hotel will count as day one. And the day you leave the hotel will be considered day four. You feel me? Now, some may bring out the when Jesus said, just like in the days of, of Jonas, spending three days and three nights in the belly of the beast which, or a large fish. I suggest you read the book of Jonas for Jonah for yourself to understand why Jesus bring that analysis to compare to how he was going to die on earth. He said he will spend three days in the heart of the earth, which will be considered a grave. But it's a little bit more deep into that. See, I, that's why I encourage folks to study and show they self-approve. Don't just take my word for it. Don't just take your pastor's word for it. Don't just take these televangelists' word for it. In fact, don't even take people who oppose the idea of their perspective of what three days and three nights is all about. Sorry about that. But study and show yourself approved. See these, go into the gospel. See for yourself. That way you can understand why Jesus would say the things that he said. And then go, go deeper into the scriptures 
to get the foundation of why Jesus said what he said. Like he said, just like the days of Noah. Just like the days of Noah. You feel what I'm saying? So I highly recommend that you get in the scripture for yourself and study and show yourself approved. Because a lot of people are going to take advantage of the scriptures and try to make it seem like what you believe is way off and you're going based off of belief. No, scripture highly re recommend, God highly recommend that you study and show yourself approved. Study and show yourself approved. Just, just like Jesus died on a Friday but rose on a Sunday, some would say it's a two day difference. When truth be told, it's a three day difference if you thinking common, commonly or rare to some folks. Because nowadays, I don't know if common sense is still the thing now. But, truth be told, the day he died was on a Friday. That would be day one. And the day he rose was a Sunday. Day three. That is common sense to a degree, to a lot of uh, some folks like myself. And I will say to a degree, but let it be known. Jesus did die on a Friday. And he rose on a Sunday, which makes it a three day thing. So, if Jesus would have died in then two days, then he his death and his resurrection would not account for us out for us to be free to 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 receive salvation for his work. So, technically speaking, he died on day one of his death was Friday. Day, the day of his resurrection, day three. So, you might say you you might want to challenge that. You might want to say something different. Feel free to. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind disagreement, but I do mind disrespect. So feel free to a, a disagree. And if you feel like you need to be heard, we'll take it to the soapbox. Until then, I'm your boy P. Lot, aka the Brick Slinger. When you get a chance, man, go get that man under construction. It's on iTunes, Amazon, and all the other digital uh, store outlet store that's out right now. Take care and God bless. Labor word.